Hey everyone, this is Nona from the Alliancelover.com. I have another casual outfit idea video for you today. We are looking at the soft natural. The soft natural is the fresh, sensual, and modern looking lady. She looks best in uncluttered, clean, soft clothing that really flows, sweeps, but yet also skims her figure. You don't want to wear anything unconstructed or wide to the point that you get lost in it. You still want to accommodate your curves, um, your fleshiness, and the mix of angularity and yin in your body. So to do this, you want to pick clothing that skims in loose strokes, relaxed strokes, and you still want to introduce waist definition and emphasis but you want to do this in a very gentle way nothing sharp nothing severe nor corsets here so things like tucking in the shirt and pulling it out again slightly um, tucking in asymmetrical ways tucking to the side only or doing knots are great ways of taking a larger piece of fabric and really allowing it to skim your body. Um, the pants or the bottoms that the soft natural looks best in are also clean, nothing too tailored, nothing too tight, nothing too severe. This doesn't mean you wanna wear the biggest, most wide, unconstructed pants. You just wanna make sure that your pants are cut well, um, they're hemmed well, but they have a little excess fabric, a little more roominess so that nothing looks too linear on you. This is an outfit dominated by broad, relaxed strokes. This is not detailed, intricate, tiny working. This is Relax paint strokes. So if we look at a few more examples, we can really see the importance of using tactile fabrics, fabrics that obviously communicate their texture. You also want to use prints that are more irregular, a little bit more rounded, a little asymmetrical, nothing too sharp, too linear, too regular you don't want to deck yourself out in plaid or too much flannel um, you also don't want to wear anything too dark too intense too saturated soft naturals look best when they use colors that are light and bright muted less intense you can use these darker colors um, when you really hone in on your foundation and all of your pieces are strongly relaxed and loose and figure skimming. But ideally, you would use more intense, saturated, darker colors as accents, not as full body schemes. Of course, the first photo here is a black on black outfit, um, but I included this because it still works. The foundation is there, but would it look more soft natural in light blue or tan, beige, white, olive? I think so, but it still works. The foundation is there. So the rest of this video is full of celebrity examples of casual outfits that would work really well on a soft natural because they are uncluttered, loose, relaxed, body skimming without being overly cinched, overly clingy, overly intricate, no excess ornamentation. Um, they really wear well on the soft naturals body. And a lot of soft naturals have beautiful bodies, but even then they look best when they're not trying to fit their, their bodies into these very tight body con bandage style clothing that looks best for say the red carpet or a nice party dress um, for everyday looks. A little roominess is pretty magical 
on the soft natural and you'll see that they look best in clean subdued color palettes nothing too sharp nothing too intense in print shade or cut so we have jennifer aniston here she has all the traits that i mentioned in these outfits um, we have scarlett johansson <clears throat> she has you know so much fame for her voluptuous body but i think she looks best when she suggests the outline of her body instead of really shoving it in your face and making it super obvious it's a little more sensual in a way the mystery of the the roominess in her clothes and um Yes, she's wearing these brighter, more saturated pants in the middle, but they're more of an accent piece and the foundation is still there. They're not a pair of extremely fitted, extremely tailored pants. They're still relaxed and they're still loose. Kristen Bell is another good example of someone who looks best just skimming their body with their clothes, even if they have an amazing athletic, lean, toned body. Um, the first two pictures, she's wearing these really fun sweaters that have a good amount of soft draping, soft edges. And in the last photo, this is more of a polished casual, but I still think it's pretty casual. Um, her details are still clean. There's a bit of ruffling going on and large bows going on, but they're still pretty straightforward. There's nothing too ornate or intricate about any of the details that she's wearing. We have Renee Zellweger who manages to look really, I don't know, magical in jeans and a faded sweater or pullover. It's kind of <laughs> amazing because when you think about her at least when I do, I think of her very dramatic, glamorous roles. Um, but when I see her in candid photos, she just looks so at home in these looser, more simple, very laid back shapes and fabrics. It's very refreshing. Um, Margot Robbie, again, she's always playing some sort of sex pot someone very very sultry and seductive but i think she looks best in these very nonchalant casual laid-back clothes that don't make her curve the highlight they make her looseness the highlight the openness of her body she's got more of that you know hippie vibe going on when you really look at her um, she's more of a solid kind of woman, and I mean that just by her body. She has a lot of solidity, some broadness, but she still has all of that softness. So when she honors that dominant part of her body first, you can really appreciate the little hints of softness that you get and when she chooses to reveal it through more polished outfit choices. So. That is what I have for you today. Um, these are just some ideas. They don't apply for everyone, but I hope this gives you a feel for the soft, natural vibe, at least the way that I like to look at it. So I'll see you in the next video and um, feel free to check out my site if you're curious about my personal style consultations. Bye.